Hello everyone, Jason here. I just wanted to make a short video explaining the options that you can choose in SPSS with regard to missing data. And there's three options, exclude cases list-wise, exclude cases pair-wise, and replace with mean. Um, the third option is uh, kind of obvious, so I'm only going to explain uh, the first two options. Now, basically, um, I'm going to be doing an independent samples t-test between variables sex, age, and height. So basically what I'm going to be doing is conducting two t-tests at the same time in order to highlight um, the options we have for missing data. So you can actually see you know, what happens uh, with our results. So sex is my independent variable. One is for males, two is for females. And I have age and height, which are our dependent variables, and they're both continuous variables. So let's just go right ahead and do an independent samples t-test. Basically, I'm going to be throwing in our uh, dependent variables in the test variables box. I'm going to throw sex into our grouping variable box, and I'm going to define groups. Um, group 1 is 1, group 2 is 2. I'm going to hit continue here. Now, from our, our missing values, um, options we have exclude cases analysis by analysis and that's the same as exclude cases pairwise and we also have exclude cases listwise and since I don't have any missing data um, doesn't really matter what I choose right so I want to hit OK here we're gonna get our um, T2 two, two T tests were conducted um, and they're and they're both in this table right here but basically, let's just look at this column right here. Look at the n value, okay? Five males, five females for, for the age test. And we have five males and five females for the height test. And that's good, right? We got five males, five females, and we have no missing data. So everything's good. Now, let me just delete that data point, uh, that data value right there. Okay? Now. We have two options, right? Exclude cases pairwise and exclude cases listwise. All right, now the first option, exclude cases pairwise, that's with respect to case number six. So what that means is when I do the exact same procedure that I just did, okay, it is gonna remove this case only from the t-test between sex and height. Now, if I choose the other option, exclude cases listwise, it is going to remove this case, number six, from both t-tests, from the sex and age t-test and from the sex and height t-test, even though I actually have all the data I need for the sex and age t-test. Okay, so let's see that. Let's see how that actually kind of just looks. I'm going to hit analyze, compare means, independent samples t-test, options. Now the first option, exclude cases analysis by analysis. That's the same as exclude cases pairwise, right? So I hit OK, OK, and let's check this out. Back to our end column, right? So age, we've got five males and five females, and that's good, right? We got five males and five females, and whoops, the data between sex and age is complete. And that's why you can see here we've got um, all the data uh, shown, and all the data was used in the analysis. But look at the height, and now look at the height test here. We only have four females, and that makes sense because, well, we only have the data for four females, all right? We're missing the data for one of the females, so it excluded that from the analysis. Now, what happens, what do you think will happen when I choose the other option, exclude cases list-wise? Well, from what I explained earlier, it's actually gonna remove this entire case. So even though we have the data between sex and age, uh, it'll still remove this, um, this data point, you could say. So basically what that means is we should, uh, we should have a four here for female as well. Okay, let's, let's check it out. Analyze, compare means, independent samples, t-test, options, exclude cases list-wise. So if, if any datum for a case is missing, if any datum for a case is missing, 
that entire case will be excluded from the analysis. So we hit continue, OK, and let's see what we got. Now, again, here we can see it actually. Five males and four females for our age t test. But but check out the data. I've got I've got five females, right? I've got the full set. But because we chose exclude cases list wise, it has removed this entire case from both tests. Okay, so I hope that actually makes sense. I hope that might clear some confusion for you. Um, whether or not you want to choose one option or the other depends on many, many factors. I suggest you do a, a Google search on maybe determining you know, why, why for your particular study you might want to choose one option or, over the other. But I hope that makes sense to you. And if you have any uh, further questions, please feel free to message me. Uh, Till my next video, stay tuned. Cheers.